What do we do with the duck? The duck can go in there, I think. And those benefiting most are first-time buyers. Meet 20-year-old Jackie Tones. She and her boyfriend Dave are packing up and preparing to move out of their rented flat. We've been renting for about 18 months now and we're paying at the moment £930 a month, so quite a lot. <laughs> Jackie and Dave thought it would be years before they could get on the property ladder, but the crash means they're now on the first rung. They're buying a two-bed, two-bathroom penthouse just outside London. Six years ago, it sold for just under £300,000. Last year, it was on the market for 170 grand. And Jackie and Dave have picked it up for just 135,000. Which I never imagined would be able to afford somewhere like this. I'm, it's like, this is my dream apartment, and I can't believe they will be able to live here. <laughs> it's going to be incredible. <laughs> Breakfast bar here. Jackie, understandably, is thrilled, not only because of the spectacular bargain, but also because of her unexpectedly healthy mortgage situation. At the moment, with the Bank of England base rate being quite low, um, our interest-only tracker mortgage will be paying about £280 a month, so it's like a third of what we're currently paying, so it's going to be a big difference. I think financially we'll end up being a lot better off being homeowners than we would have been renting, which is really weird. And if we improve this property as well, we'll be quids in, hopefully. People like Jackie and Dave are, it seems, why some estate agents here are reporting the first bit of good news they've had in ages.